Zooming a 2D data set is pretty similar to zooming in a 1D data set, other than the fact that the Y dimension is chemical shift or time or something to that effect rather than intensity. You can still use the zoom cursor mode and left click, drag, or left click, hold, drag, and release in order to zoom in on a particular region. But keep in mind, even though we call this a 2D data set, there's actually a third dimension, which is intensity. You can think of this data set here as a 3D topographical map. If you hit the number three key on your keyboard, you can change the view in order to see this map. You can hit the one key to go back to contour view. Note that there were some peaks there that I can't seem to see in this particular view. To zoom into the Z dimension and say, look at the baseline of this 2D, we have to adjust the contours. In Delta 5 version 5.3.1, the easiest way to do this is to hold the control key on your keyboard and use the mouse wheel to draw more or less contours. By rolling the mouse wheel forward, we zoom in towards the baseline. And rolling the mouse wheel backwards or towards yourself, you zoom out. You can also do this by using the level tool. The keyboard is the button right above the enter or return key on your keyboard. But you can also bring up the level tool by right clicking and holding and choosing level tool here. Depending on your preferences, this auto apply button might be activated or just set to manually apply. You can toggle this by pushing the A key on your keyboard. When auto apply is chosen and you move the bias slider, the spectrum or contours will be withdrawn as soon as you let go of the left mouse button. If auto apply is not on, you'll have to click the apply button in order to redraw. Rather than change the bias slider, you can also do things like remove individual levels by clicking and unclicking these buttons. So for example, you could turn off the tops of very small peaks while leaving, or very tall peaks, sorry, while leaving smaller peaks visible. If you happen to have a face sensitive data set like an edited HSQC, you could turn off the negative or positive contours if you want. Again, other shortcuts like the home key still work in a 2D data set like this. And all of these cursor or all of these contour changing tools will work whether you're in a ND processor like this, a data slate, or a 2D data viewer. Have comments, questions, or requests for additional videos? Please visit our forums on the nmrsupport.jeol.com website or feel free to leave a comment on this video. Thanks for watching.